Today I'm going to be showing you guys the best pass, one of the best passing plays to use in Madden 22, and possibly the best passing play to start out using in Madden 23. But yeah, let's get straight into it. The first thing you want to do is you have to be using the Green Bay Packers playbook. Well, at least I'm using the Green Bay Packers playbook because I know it like the back of my hand. Wait, I, I, my favorite team is the Packers, but me personally, I like using the Packers playbook because it, it does what I love to do. I love to pass. And you got a few good run plays in there as well. But that's not the point of today's video. But if you do want me to make a video going in depth on what playbook you should be using, let me know down in the comments. The play that we're going to be doing, you have to go down to formation, go to single back, and it's just this very simple play, but you can do it. You, this one play, you can change to do however you want, depending on the defense. Uh, it's going to be PAY drag wheel, which is this wheel right here. And let's just do a simple uh, cover three sky for the defense. It really doesn't matter the defense. This is how I read the defense for this play. Um, I just, you don't like, if you're playing online competitively, you can bluff your plays, like what I do. But, like, this is just practice. So, this is how I normally read the defense. I normally read it based off of this corner over here and whoever is guarding my wide receiver. Then you normally have a guy or two in the back. But now, depending on who you're playing, they may run commit. Because I've had a lot of people run commit on this play for some reason. I mean, like, it is set up like you're going to run it um, a lot of the times. And sometimes I audible it to run for Aaron Jones. Because sometimes when I run the play a lot during a game, people start to catch on. And so they don't expect the run. So sometimes you can honestly get a pretty good run play out of this play uh, if you audible it. But one thing that you do have to have is you have to have a wide, like a really insanely good wide receiver. I mean, like not insanely, but yes, to have like at least like in a 90 plus overall speed in order for this to like really work. Because like Devontae Adams, he's the best wide receiver in the game. And uh, it's really easy to burn people with Devontae Adams. So that you can run the play normally. I don't really know, run the play normally. It really just depends. So in this circumstance, I'll show you one of the common things I like to do. I just like to change the high route for Adam to run on a streak route. That's one of like the most simple things you could do. Um, uh, once and you could also, uh, since I'm using the Packers, you can. Uh, I would normally send Tony on an in route because it normally fit, like kind of. It really just depends. I mean, I'm just giving you an example. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how the play would run out. That's one bad thing. And look, he literally just burns him right there. And Devonte Adams catches everything. Like I kid you not, he like I play franchise all the time, and he's breaking right. Like I have three thousand yards in four games. It's insane. But that's besides the point. But yeah, you can send Adams on a streak route, or something I like to do is if the if I see that they're gonna be if if um this guy here in the back I forgot what they're called. I think it's called a safety. It's been a while. It's too early for this. Uh, not really. It's like 11 o'clock, but it, I'm just I'm not feeling it today. But yeah, if he is guarding you in the back like that, and he's going to be committing you up the field, I like to just send Adams or whoever your wide receiver is over there on a slant route, um, which kind of throws them off because it's really easy to get a slant route on this play. See, like right there. Well, I mean, like that was a bad pass. That was a bad pass. Okay, that that was not a good example. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, behind this right here. You want to send him on a little slant route. Okay. Uh, get your feet set. And then pass. Boom. Right there. Easy yards. I don't really get... I average like 10 to 20 yards on that play right there just by doing that slant route. Or one thing that you could probably do is um, sometimes I do this but not really. Um, sometimes I like to send him on a post corner route. Uh, not a post corner route. Or something if you want to get like a quick, uh, quick yards or whatever. So like it really just depends. I don't recommend doing this all the time. Maybe if it's like a first and ten or like a two and five, you could try it. Uh, but yeah, you can literally just send Adams on a fade stop route, and it'll just stop right there. And then if, a lot of the times, if I'm audible and Adams to do stuff, I normally try to um, send these other people. Like sending Tunyon on this streak route sometimes will get him wide open. It really just depends who's guarding him. But, you know, do that. Stop and jump. Boom, right there. Adams. Adams is just too good. I don't know if this will work with every wide receiver, but with Adams, it's great. If you did enjoy today's video and you want me to make more videos like this, you know what to do. Click that like button. We are on the road to a thousand subscribers. But yeah, click that subscribe button if you are brand new and you enjoyed this video. But yeah, catch you in the next one.